Um, it's Wednesday, October 26th, and I'm going to the fertility doctor today. Um, I'm on cycle day 16. Obviously, we're not doing anything with this cycle because it's already too late. So we'll be doing testing and everything like that to like start over because it's been uh, the last time I went to the clinic was about a year and a couple months ago. Um, we did a like monitored cycle where I just took medication and we did timing, which is kind of it's not really a monitored cycle, but it's um. I, I will need um, medication again, but like I said, I would like to not do IUI, and hopefully he agrees to that because I don't think we need it after getting pregnant in May. Um, so obviously things got where they needed to get, and I had two failed IUIs back last I think it was February and March. Yeah, two in a row. It was not great. <laughs> not a great experience. My husband hated it. Um, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna see if he'll agree to that. Uh, so we'll see. I'm gonna get ready and then I'll be back. Hey, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I've got like an hour and a half till I leave though, so oh, here's my hair. Just ponytail. So now I have to wait. It's kind of a bummer. Not in the mood to wait. Really not in the mood to wait, so it's gonna drive me crazy. Dang it. <laughs> I kind of messed up my makeup, but I think I recovered it a bit. Yeah. I will record there if I can. I guess you'll know right after this. Our, <laughs> uh, got to head south to the baby doctor. Mm. I'm excited. I'm really anxious. I wish that I was like on cycle day one or something like that to where I could start right away, but I'm on cycle day 16, so I've got to wait until the next cycle starts to do anything. So probably in about 12 days, 11 or 12 days, depending. Yeah. I can't wait. I'll see you there. I'm here. Um, it's that building. I'm gonna go um, inside and like check in and ask if I can record in there. If not, I will be recording in the rooms at least like when it's just me. So we will see. I'm in the doctor's office and I'm just waiting to consult and there he is so I should Hi, probably go work. Right there. Right there. <laughs> in a tender spot. Yeah. Steam a little. That's okay.
hold it. That's the one that just kind of makes the bang stick up just enough. Oh, yeah. So just let it go. And it's still up pretty nice. That's a good one. The right one's not too shabby, but it's it's a little more, it hides a little more, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the ones that hide, you have a risk of going through them or, mm -hmm. you know, doing things like that that hurt more. Bruising, bruising it, getting bruised. I've even been bruised in this one, and this one's really good. And that's pretty disappointing. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, my vein is good. Yeah. <laughs> Now that I lost weight, they're really good. Oh yes, yeah, easier they get better. Oh yeah. 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 So I'm done here. Um, basically the next thing is waiting for my next cycle, if there is a next cycle. Um, so they did blood work, obviously, and yeah. So I'll get the results from that and we'll make sure everything is still good. Um, they basically said based on like everything from last time, I'm unexplained infertility because with my regular periods, they would assume I'm ovulating every month. But I know it's not true. I do, I know it's not true. Um, I think any cycles, if we have cycles where we do our own thing from now on, I probably should temp and do ovulation tests, like maybe for a full, well the temping would be every day, but the tests for like a every day, just take one a day to see kind of what's going on. But other than that, I, there's nothing I can really do, like I'm gonna get the results from this blood work. I would assume it's good, if not better, because of my weight I've lost since I was last here. The last time I was here, my weight was 219 pounds. Today, on their scale, fully dressed, after already eating, I'm 187. So, <laughs> quite a difference. Yeah, 32 pounds. Um, so, I'm gonna go home. I don't know what else to tell you. There wasn't really anything to show because all I did was like discuss things with the doctor in the room. I didn't have like an ultrasound or anything like that, so yeah. But they've agreed. Oh, I'm so happy. They they've agreed that since I've been able to get pregnant, um, they'll go ahead and just do like the medication and um, we can do timed fun stuff. Um, they did explain that the risk of ectopic pregnancy is higher because um, I've had tubal surgery, you know, I've had um, my tubes tied and then I've had that reversed. And even though everything is open, um, there still can be issues, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead anyway because... I, I don't know, I don't feel like that's going to happen. I really hope it's not going to happen, but I feel like I need to take the chance of getting pregnant. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Breakdown. Um, got to the clinic, signed in, and then they had to get awake, and vitals. And then I had the consult, consult, consultation. <laughs> um, the first person I spoke to was not my physician. She was like a fellow. I don't know what that means, but she.
she said that you can get negative tests and still miss it, like still ovulate, um, or doctor's offices can do blood work and say you're not ovulating and they can even miss it. And she thought based on my regular cycles that I have to be ovulating and we're just missing it or something. But I disagree. I have like religiously taken ovulation tests since I uh, miscarried and I've gotten nothing anywhere near a positive. And um, so I will agree to disagree with her. Although that, I mean, that does give me hope. But it's still like unexplained infertility. Um, so they did blood work for my thyroid and just everything else, fertility, blood work. And on cycle day one, <laughs> I am to call them and um, they will have me come in on cycle day three for blood work and I'll start taking Clomid on cycle day three through seven, probably just like what I did before. And then they will do like ultrasound on cycle day 11 and see where my follies are, follicles. And then um, based on that, go from there. It's usually like, uh, they're not quite where we want them yet. Come back in two days. And then two days later, usually they're good to go. And they're like, okay, trigger in a day or two and then yada yada. So, but we will see. Wish me luck and subscribe so you can follow this journey. I'm really hoping that there's a good outcome at the end of this um, next cycle. So, thank you so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and have a great day and God bless you.